Chef Tracks. It's me, Maya Chef Track, and welcome to another box makeover. Today we have this box. I know there were pink beads in it. However, I've moved them to a different box and that was because I didn't get to use all of the pink beads for the cherry blossom tree but at least a little bit of them are there the pink beads have been moved so anyways before this makeover starts I'm going to put peanut butter on the stickers just so it would be easier to remove and that the stickers would be fattened enough by the peanut butter Anyways, I had a friend that recommended me the peanut butter. I will not reveal names in public, but this is going to be for her. With a little bit of gifts. But anyways, I'm going to the kitchen. Right now the tap water is really cold. So, I'm just going to put peanut butter for now. I'm scared of the tap water in the caravan due to the winter being a bit cold and not an iron. Okay, I'm going to leave it in the sink. Just let the peanut butter stay on it for longer. Just to see what happens when I get to remove it. I hadn't tried it. I just rubbed it and washed it off. But now I'm going to try to see what happens if I just leave it sitting for a while and then removing the sticker okay so i've asked the friend about her favorite fruit it's pineapple colors magenta pink purple and turquoise so that's the criteria of the episode that i'm going to give myself I'm going to do a pineapple with magenta pink, purple and turquoise. Okay, we've got it. So, now it's the time to start giving the box the pineapple texture because you know, pineapples have, like, a texture. So, we're going to get it in there. How will I execute the pineapple idea with magenta pink, purple, and turquoise? Well, I'm thinking that I would use those micro beads to create the pineapple like texture like the pineapple pattern that we're going to give it I have a marker called Magenta Deep. This marker will give me a bit of guidelines of where should the beads be at. So 
So this will help me with the pineapple texture. And of course, I have to put the ice in my funny face somewhere. So don't forget to draw the knife. The area where I'm going to put ice. The nose can be done with beads anyways. So that's what I've planned. Things will get planned as I work on the episode. Right now I came up with a magenta purple pineapple base. Yet thinking about the clothing that I'm going to give it and the hairstyle and hair color for now I'm using ultimate craft glue white one is okay because i'm just going to put beads all over it and i will try not to get it outside the lines and try not to get it in the mouth so it has to be that area and keep it outside the area where there's a mouth and besides I'm using really tiny beads for the texture anyways like they're not going to be big beads but rather a small beads that you can get the tiniest smaller beads that you can get in a store anyways that are like possible to get and buy in a store or anywhere where they have beads I know the glue is white, but I'll go over that color when it dries. Go over that. So. Just making sure the pineapple texture is there. because I've planned the beaded box design and pineapple sounds like an interesting choice for a bead design as well as putting a little bit of gems into it speaking of them let me get them However, I will give them an even color when it dries, so for that I have the pink heart gems that I will later go over when it dries. Just keep in mind that you do have to let it dry. If there's a little bit of the yellow beads, it's fine. I can just let it dry and then go over. It. Trying to cover those areas. However, the eyes will be done later. However, I have marked an area where I'm going to put eyes on the character. And yes, I'm keeping to the color scheme for her. Because I'm using her top three favorite colors. So, 
sprinkling another wave of micro beads there adjusting the flower oh I mean heart some more more here okay doing the rest of the pineapple design steps is just self explanatory so I don't need to show all of it especially that if anybody is trying to replicate it for themselves so just keep going until you reach this I'm not going to do it here or there because this will help me know where to put the hair and where to put the clothing on the box later all I have to do now let this all dry so the white glue may have been the cause of this being uneven so I'm going to fix that with the magenta deep marker then once I cover the areas I'm trying to get it in even the most difficult to get in areas with the marker and I may have to go with the black marker for the my feature because I know this is going to use quite neon colors anyways not that it's so neon that it will burn the eyes but you get the idea they're a little bit of like neon purples and things going on so I don't want anything that's too clashing with the color scheme I want it to be well executed so I'm just going to do it like the other boxes I did but they're not pineapples they're peach ones while this one is is a pineapple okay so I'm going with the marker until all the beaded areas are covered by everyday eyes will come later right now I'm focusing on the beaded areas needing to be magenta deep colored And I really like the neon tone, like a little bit neon, but not that neon. Look, however, the beads would fall out a little bit, but anyways, that's to happen, even though it's a good glue. There's no such thing as a perfect glue. Anyways. 
I may need to fill up the empty areas by using the same marker color on the inside part of it. Just avoiding the eyes. The non-beaded areas will also get the magenta deep marker treatment. Anyways, as well as all those areas. I don't want it really to affect the areas that are the mechanism to open and close the box. So... I will think about should I add beads to here. Because I want it to still open and close. And yes, leave this area for the back hair. Because I hadn't thought of the hairstyle yet. Then I've decided to add more beads to it. Like carry this design all over the box except this area because I want her to be able to open and close it so that's why I'm only doing those areas like all of them except this one for the hairstyle I've decided to do turquoise ponytail because there has to be some resemblance to the fruit being a pineapple and there has to be a bow that adds to the pineapple like likeness of the box and I still want to be able to open and close it. So, I'm going to do the hairstyle as I work on it. And I want it to have like different hair tips. That's what I've decided to do to make it still able and open and close but make it like pineapple like hairstyle because it is a pineapple that we're working on so I'm going to add a bit of wire to shape the hair tips the shape that I wanted to have is pineapple-like, but more stylized pineapple-like. So I will bend it around the hair like this and I'm going to trim it. It's okay if it looks a little messy because it's meant to be as pineapple-like as possible. So it has to look like it is a pineapple. Now I will boil wash the wired parts to see what happens. I was hoping it will curl, but no it didn't, but still I can just glue it into a curl. Done, let's let it dry. Glued the hair on, time to let all of this hair dry. 
The hair is drying. Now I'm thinking of clothing. I'm going to use the sock. It's washed. Now I'm going to cut these triangles off it just so it could be shaped better because socks are stretchy but yet the shape has to look right on the box so now I'm going to stitch those edges here on now flip it over and try it on the box to see how it looks like like on a test box and that's how it looks like at least I have fixed the waist to look good and not like it's too big on the doll like it's a box but also a doll you know what I mean now to match the criteria for my friend to do a pineapple one something that will look good on a pineapple yet with magenta pink purple and turquoise colors used in it I hadn't added purple to the design yet, so I will have to use purple in it. At least somewhere in the design. Hmm, what will look good with this pineapple in purple clothing? I've colored the dress with grey violet and violet dark and that's the result I'm happy with the color however I will still think about what is next for the dress now we're on the decorating stage of making the clothing so I've been inspired on Pinterest to cover the purple dress in beads and organza that looks like candy and I decided to add glue to the test box because I'm going to give the candies some sparkly wrapping that's made out of the tool fabric and that's inspired by candy sparkles jumpsuit that I've made in Poland I've made for this jumpsuit and I'm going to add things to it that are inspired by it. So, I'm going to use silver stars, the pink cards, and a little bit of this purple glitter. Like, I'm going to mix it on that box. I will anyways make this box in the next episode, the one that I'm putting the glitter on with the glue because I know it's not really going to come off unless I try, but anyways. There would be hints for the next episode, which I will not spoil until it comes out. So, 
I'm mixing it on the box. You'll see the project in the next episode. Which shh, I'm not going to tell you until it comes out. And yet I hadn't came up with the idea for it yet, so I'm going to keep quiet about why this box is getting the glitter inspired by candy sparkles jumpsuit however i made it in poland while visiting my grandfather so that's what However, I will make more of those candies later. Just start to cover it up in it for the design and detail choice. And I hadn't finished because it will be all over the dress. like all over the dress okay time for it to dry I was still working on the pineapples hair and that's the dress so far and the dress looks good on her however I still hadn't finished the candy part of it. Then a random thought of something that will help the future owner of this box know where the front and the back of the dress is. So to help the future owner, I have this magenta pink ribbon and I'm going to make it into a bow for the back of her dress, just so she knows exactly where the back is. I've made the bow, I'm now going to stitch it. It's been stitched. Now I'm going to cut up the leftover thread and this area has been glued so the glue hasn't dried yet so I'm going to apply hair like make hair out of the leftover thread it is turquoise just like the hair anyways and I hadn't finished it at the time this footage was filmed so I'm multitasking but anyways the bow now needs something more to it I'm going to color this turquoise and put it on the bow and then add a purple bead. The future owner of this can have the bow either at the front or the back and whatever her preference is. It's going to be hers anyway. So, with this design, she has options to put this bow at the front or the back of her dress because it will be hers after the video, anyways. But still. I hadn't finished the candies here. 
but it will be finished in the final product before it gets sent away or given away. Time to finish this. I hadn't put the dress on her yet, but I will for the end result. And I think I'll put that candy in her hair as well as the dress. So I grab a bead, organza fabric. Then a needle and some suitable colored thread. Then I add the thread onto the needle. That is done. Now Add the needle through the organza fabric. And wrap it like wrapping a candy around the bead. And keep on going. Then seal the bead in. If the bead falls out, stitch it in before sealing it in. And then wrap it around the candy again. And now you have this. I'm going to place it here. Trying not to get that hair into it. And then we're stitching it in the desired area and that's one candy done now I make a knot to seal it in and cut it a little bit of lilac in her hair and now keep on doing this oh I'm going to use a mint green light which is a green type of turquoise because some turquoise colors are more blue some are more green so I want a variety of these okay and that's how to make those candy things. Now I'll just keep going until I'm happy with it. Her name is Tropical Sparkles and she needs to feel at least a little bit tropical. Considering the pineapple theme. Sparkles. I think it's because the koala candy sparkles, but it's tropical sparkles anyways. I will add in the flower bead. And then I'm going to make it look like hibiscus flower. Just so it feels a little bit tropical themed with a hibiscus flower added detail at least in somewhere of the design that she has 
but I'm keeping the color scheme and I'm using a torn up feather for it like for the details that will make this flower look like a hibiscus and trim it just a little I'm trying to adjust the look of the hibiscus and it's time for it to dry I want to decorate the inside of it so I have those purple flower stickers that I thought I could use to decorate the box like the inside of it so it can require a little precision to make it look good but that is always worth it because precision is rewarding with small tiny details so that's why I enjoy using it So I'm doing it all over the turquoise part. It will not be visible from the outside, but when she opens the box, the friend will just see it anyways, that it is there. Just that I don't really use the purple flowers all that much due to me not finding too many ideas with the purple but hey I find a use for them and that's the most important part because I have to look out for areas because I'm doing it all over just to make it pretty even on the inside of the box and a little bit more purple maybe I should have cut that make it look just a little bit better done some had to be glued but we'll let it dry anyways I thought it would be just a better idea to keep it empty the future owner of this can anyways fill it with whatever she wants and it fits in there so that's tropical sparkles the pineapple pineapple because of the ponytail style I did for her she is a little bit tropical with the hibiscus flower added however there's a lot of candy going on in her dress to the future owner, I hope you enjoy this box because I'm giving this away. I'm not going to say it to public but my real life friends watch it and know who it is but I'm not going to mention it to the public domain. They may not want me to say it in the public domain but still I hope the owner enjoys it 
can't find goodies for it. But anyways, what do you think of it? For the other people, please tell me in the comments. But anyways, time for the before and after. Bye, Chef Jack. See you in another video. Now I cue the before and after pictures.